It was 60 degrees out at the UC Health Training Center on Monday, so it is safe to say that it is starting to feel a lot like football season with the home opener up against the Tennessee Titans just two weeks away. Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining us for another edition of Training Camp tonight. With the stadium practice on Saturday, a day off on Sunday, Monday morning the Denver Broncos return to the practice field in their shells for day 13 of Broncos camp. Monday morning we also got our very first look of Mark Barron, the Broncos' new linebacker who was signed by the team on Sunday. The University of Alabama product was most recently with the Pittsburgh Steelers where he racked up 82 total tackles, three sacks and an interception in 15 games in 2019. He met with the Denver media for the first time today to explain how he ended up in the Mile High City for his ninth season in the league and Coach Fangio shared his thoughts on the signing as well. Well, uh, you know, cap situations, um, and really, I've, I've been in that situation. Really, my the last two seasons I played, uh, what you call it, a, a cap casualty. Obviously, you know they had the uh, the young first round pick and Devin Bush, uh, Devin Bush, who was a uh, you know was a good young player. And then they had the vet guy who they uh, basically have a lot of loyalty to, and uh, Vincent Williams. And they both good players. And uh, somebody had to go. You know what I mean? Because they had to, had to save money somewhere. So you know it just ended up being me. I don't think it was a, I mean, it was communicated to me. It wasn't a, a play thing where my play wasn't good enough. It was just a, a you know, you know how to cap situations go. Obviously, I have a lot of experience doing the, the you know, playing that coverage role and covering tight ends and linebackers. So, um, you know, if that's what they need me to do, I, I definitely feel like I can get that job done. And, um, as far as me playing safety and playing linebacker over the years, I think it's really just a, a knowledge thing where I've played in a, a bunch of different roles, and I'm a pretty versatile guy, a flexible guy, so I can do a, a, you know, a number of things for the defense if, if asked to do those things. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm taking this thing a day at a time. I got a, a whole defensive playbook to learn, uh, and it's a lot. So uh, just taking it one day at a time and, and, and trying to get familiar with, you know, what we want to do here. Where do you feel uh, Mark Barron can fit in your defense? I don't know. We're going to find out. It, it was uh, – uh, you know, John wanted to be proactive with that in light of us losing Strenad and uh, Todd, you know, with his calf injury, you know, we were getting a little thin there. So he, he's obviously been a good player in the league. He's a guy that um, we'll see how he can fit in. He obviously, he's got to, a lot to learn in a short period of time, but we'll see. Well, it was great to see Barron out on the field today. Unfortunately, there were a couple of key guys sidelined for practice, including outside linebacker Bradley Chubb and right guard Graham Glasgow. Coach Fangio said after practice that Graham Glasgow suffered a sprained ankle during that stadium practice on Saturday. Luckily, it does not seem like it's going to be a long-term injury, and he should return to practice maybe later this week. Now, in terms of Bradley Chubb, Chubb was just given a rest day today. They are going to be conservative with him throughout the rest of the week. The Hall of Famer Steve Atwater was joined by former Broncos safety Nick Ferguson for training camp live this morning to talk about the addition of Mark Barron and the absence of Bradley Chubb. I know many times when you've had a surgery, you just gotta you gotta ease back into it. And you know, you're gonna have you know a little bit of setback, a little bit of pain, maybe some swelling as you're making the comeback. Uh, but I don't think that there's a need to panic. You just said it. When you have a guy who is as valuable to the team as Bradley Chubb is, and he's very important to Von Miller and what Coach Fangio wants to do defensively, it, it, it does raise an eyebrow when it is kind of your first practice scrimmage and he comes out. And as a guy who's had, you know, two knee surgeries, I know what that's like because you're a little nervous. Mm -hmm. right? you're, a little, you're a little timid because you, you don't want to set yourself back. So, uh, Mark Barron. Uh, inside linebacker, we talked a little bit about him earlier. What do you what do you think we can expect from him? I mean, he's had a you know, pretty good career so far. I know he was a early first round draft pick uh, back a while back by Tampa Bay. Um, what do you, what do you think we can expect from Mark Byrne? Well, I can tell you what, man. Uh, I know linebacker coach Reggie Herring. He's gonna love him because now you're talking about a guy who is uh, very uh, talented. See, Ed Donatel right there. Yes, Ed. Uh, and you know, he's probably thinking, okay, well, I have a guy who can play on the second level of my defense and my third level. How can I uh, make the most out, out of the skill set? So here you have a guy, you know, he's not 240. He's about, you know, 220, 225, and he's a smart guy. So for me now, you can use him in multiple ways. You can use him to match up 
on a lot of these speedy running backs in our division. Also, if you want a guy that uh, is athletic and understands, uh, you know, blocking schemes, you can blitz him as well. And when you say physical, yes, he is physical. See, see, and it is something to know that <laughs> both you and I were really physical in, in, in our time playing. But to hear you put it that way, talk about physical, yes, that you know he's he, he's definitely oh, really physical. Man. He, he's a hitter, boy. Yes, and that's what you need, Steve. You need someone. But can you do that nowadays? I mean, is that a, is that a is that a plus nowadays? Well, well, it is because now he's closer to the ball. Yeah. Right? So it, it's, it's not – he won't have a lot of findable offenses because he's closer to the ball. Now, you take, you know, Mark Barron and put him 12 to 14 yards deep, now we're talking about <laughs> findable offenses, right? But because he's close to the ball, we're talking about, you know, faster anticipation, quicker reaction, and it, it gives a lot of versatility if you're uh, Coach Vangio and Ed Donatello.